This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Stoll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the Green Goblin theme from Spider-Man. So here we go, give you a preview of the piano before we start learning it. It's really epic, it goes like this, check it out. Let's get right into it. So melody and block chords first. At the end, I'll tell you what a complement you like should do and how to count all the like main beats. Okay, it's an interesting kind of like rhythm here and there. But anyways, let's start with the notes first. We'll break it up into a few parts that's easier to learn. First part, right hand starts on the E, just next to the middle C here. So E up to G, B, up to the higher E, then G, F sharp, D sharp, E. Alright, that's it for the first part. Let's learn it again. So E up to G, B up to the higher E, up to the higher G, F sharp, D sharp, E. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we just have E minor the whole way, which is E, G, B. Okay? So all you need to do is play it together. Like that. That's it for the first part. Let's learn it again. So together. Alright, so we're doing the melody and chords first. At the end of the lesson, I'll tell you how to count it and do all the beats for it, alright? So, and then right hand for the next part, the second part, right hand continues D up to B flat, F, and then down to D sharp, E, down to the octave below D, I mean E, and up to D, and then C, E, down to G, B, D. That's it. Alright, let's learn it again. This goes D up to B flat, F, D sharp E, octave below E, up to D, and then C, E, down to G, B, D. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have more changing chords here, so pay attention. First of all, we have B flat major, which is B flat D, F. Second chord back to E minor, E, G, B. Third chord back to E flat, B flat major. And then the fourth chord is second inversion of E minor, which is B, E, G. And then the last chord, B flat major again. Okay? So yeah, a lot of B flat majors, okay? Okay, out of the five chords, three of them is B flat major. So, yeah, the first and the last and the middle chord is actually B flat major. So, easy to remember. There's five chords. First, third, fifth chord is B flat major. All right, anyway, so the chords one more time is B flat major, E minor, B flat major, and then second inversion, E minor, and back to B flat major. All right, so with those chords in mind, two hands together goes like this. So, it goes D and B flat major together, E and E minor together. D and B flat major together. E and next chord together. D and B flat major together. That's it. Alright, let's learn it once again. So together. 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 There you go. So that's it. So back to back, the two parts we've learned in this lesson will be played like this. There you go. Okay, interestingly, the first phrase kind of sounds like the Spider-Man. Like that. Okay, especially the first three notes. Spider-Man. All right, anyway, that's just a fun fact that I just picked out right there. But anyways, all right. Okay, so once you get the melody and chords of both, both parts of this lesson are good, now I'm going to teach you how to count the main rhythms and do the accompaniment. Okay, so most of the time you do like the bottom note, followed by the higher two notes of the chord in like threes or sometimes four here and there okay so this is what you do okay we have three beats for the first one because one two three one two three one two three two two three and then four counts here one two three four and then one two three one two three one two Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. 
like that. As you can see, most of the times throughout the whole thing is three counts each for the boom ba ba boom ba ba a compliment. Okay, the left hand. Okay, but except for that first half of it, the last phrase of it where it goes four counts. Okay, that's just how it is. It's interesting like that. So it goes. One two three, 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 four, one two three, 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 like that. Awesome stuff. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so get the main melody and chords all good, and then start to think about the rhythm by going to the part of the video where I talk about how many beats is for each count for it. Uh, for the left hand, okay, so it's okay, so it's three, 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 four, and then three, 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 three. So, yeah, as I said, there's only like one four uh, beat group of four beats uh, in the first part, otherwise, all the other parts is three beats, okay, three main beats for it, okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I hope you enjoyed this lesson, by the way. If you want to learn more Spider Man themes, the main Spider-Man themes or the villain themes like these ones, just search up your favorite like superhero name or villain name followed by Amos Stone in the YouTube search to find those other lessons to learn for yourself. But as for now, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.